Hi everyone, in this video today I'm going to be unboxing the Super Port 4 from Sendur. This was part of a Kickstarter campaign that they launched a few months ago, which was for the Super Tank, which I'll also be unboxing in another video. But in this video, I'll be unboxing the Super Port and the uh, pledge that I uh, pledge, I mean, the, the reward that I pledge. Is the one that included both items so here I have the super port and I'm going to be unboxing it because this one is the one that showed charge the super tank later when I test it in uh, when I unbox the, the super tank so not only that but it also has four ports two of which are USB C ports and two of which are USB A ports and the USB C ports support up to 100 watts of output as it says, uh, 100, 100 watts desktop charger with dual power delivery, and the USB A port supports up to 18 watts of output, um, something they call Zen Plus 2.0. So I wonder if it's also compatible with Qualcomm devices, because uh, my phone supports the Qualcomm 3.0 protocol, I believe. So yeah, it charges at 9 volts. So I'm going to be testing that with my phone, especially since the battery power is very low right now, like only has um, some 20% of uh, battery right now charge so I'll be testing that with the phone and it should charge as, uh, at 9 volts so let's start by unboxing the super port so we're going to break the seal that it has here now let's open it First thing that it seems to be here is the super port, of course. And you can see if I hold it in my hand, it's pretty it's small, um, so it's compact and it uses this type of power plug, which is great because that means it's compatible with other cables that you may have around, um, probably. So you can see the. Uh, USB A ports and the USB C ports here, which support this one supports 100 watts output. This is uh, 18 watts output only, and these are Zen 2 Plus ports, uh, as what they say here. So the, uh, they also they also show be 18 watts of output. So we have the super port here. And here we have the power cable which is pretty standard and again you can find these cables on Amazon if you need extra cables or maybe you have other devices that use that so this is pretty good this is pretty good because you don't have to use either a USB-C power plug or or another proprietary plug you can use some cable and that means that the super port handles everything related to power um, and it does not depend on another external USB port so here we have the manual that it comes tell us about using it an overview using the charger which is simple simply straightforward you just connect it and start using it and then it tells you how to use the super port with other devices from sender so yeah and of course some caution because um, it's important to follow the cautions that it has. So then, this is some um, promotion. If I'm an influencer, apparently I don't know if I qualify. Cause you now I make YouTube videos, so I don't know if I qualify for this. Probably not, cause my YouTube channel is not popular. But yeah, here we have. I'm doing this unboxing video, so maybe Sender will like it. And. It comes with some stickers. Yay. All right. So that pretty much covers it. So now comes the fun part. Let's start by testing it. All right, so let me first organize myself here. Let me close the box. If it will, okay, there we go. It's closing because I no longer need the box. And now 
it's time to connect the super port so wait a second while I plug this in the AC outlet all right all right so I'm going to connect the cable to the back of the super port and it's connected as you can see it has an LED here which is great and now because it has a USB-C port here what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be connecting this um, USB-C cable that I have here on the 100 watt port even if my phone doesn't use 100 watts it probably uses 15 or uh, 15 watts so if I just plug it here it should charge it says fast charging and there we go fast charging 20% and that it will take one hour and 23 minutes to charge so that's pretty great that's pretty much standard and I'll just probably let it there charging but yeah it supports fast charging and because the phone doesn't need a hundred watts I can plug it on the other port and it should also support fast charging let's see if that's true that's correct it's also fast charges because it doesn't use 18 watts probably it's 15 or I really don't know maybe it's 18 probably it's 18 um, so yeah there you have it and now I can do another test the other test is to see if the USB-A ports also supports the fast charging now that, that, yeah it supports fast charging it also says fast charging so there you go uh, what I am using here is a USB-A to USB-C adapter and you can clearly see that it supports Qualcomm Quick Charge because otherwise the phone will not say that it's fast charging so that's really good to know it is charging as you can see so this is the Sendur Super Port 4 if you like this video don't forget to like this video, comment on it, share it with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and look forward for the super tank video which I am also going to be unboxing in a later video. Thank you for watching.